Hello and welcome to the lesson video for fourth grade for Tuesday, uh, April the 7th. This will cover lesson 9.4 out of the Go Math book. Um, I am using a different whiteboard app today because uh, the one that I was previously using um, is online and their website is having difficulties. So um, I'm trying this one that doesn't require me to be online. It gives me some additional uh, things that I can do um, with moving around so I won't have to be limited um, in how much space I have to work with, um, but I can't type, um, at least not directly onto the page So uh, until I figure that out. So I will have to handwrite everything. Um, so let's take a look at our Unlock the Problem. We are continuing working with things related with money. Um, so together, Julie and Sarah have one dollar in quarters. That would be our four quarters here. They want to share the quarters equally. How many quarters should each uh, girl get and how much money is this? So if they each get two quarters, we would add 25 cents plus 25 cents. And that should give us um, 50 cents, which would be 0 0.50. And so we can see that over here. Uh, they wanted us to circle the amount of quarters. So this would be person one, this would be person two. Um, if I were to take a dollar, I would fill in this entire 100 block because that would give us 100 cents. Um, a dime would be worth one tenth. Um, and so that would be 0 0.10, which is going to match this part. This part is going to match the amount that comes after the dollar sign. So 0 0.01 would be for one penny. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our share and show questions. Um, so to start with, um, if I have five pennies, I have five one hundredths of a dollar, um, which would be 0 0.05 of a dollar. And again, if you want to work on any of these, um, you can always just pause the video. So right order. So this one's worth 0.25. I've got um, two dimes that are both worth 0.2 together. And then I've got three nickels, which are worth 0.15 together. So as a fraction or mixed number, um, we would have uh, 25, 45, 60 cents, um, that would come out to um, 60 over 100. We could also write it as 0 0.60. Um, and then I guess they want us to do this as well. And so that's how it would look as far as uh, dollars go. All right, so uh, the money amount and decimal in terms of dollars are both going to be the same thing. So they are both going to, for number five, be 0 0.07. It's just one of them is going to have the dollar sign in front of it. Number seven, um, if I'm going to write the decimal for 53 hundredths, that would be 0.53. And then I would get the same thing for the other part, just with a dollar sign in front of it. So pretend that was a dollar sign. Um, on your own, for number nine, we are actually going to have an amount that is larger than $1. So if we have that, we are going to have a number in front of the decimal point. Um, so for we have for number nine, we have one dollar, we have a quarter, we have a nickel, and we have two pennies. So that would give us um, 100, 125, 130, 132 cents. So if I write this as a decimal, that would give me one point. Three, two, and then the same thing for um, writing that with the dollar sign. If I write it as a mixed number, I would have one, 
and 32 over 100. Uh, number 10, as a money amount, that would come out to uh, $0.27. And then the other one would, again, be 0 0.27. Uh, number 12, 75 is on the top. That's going to be our decimal value as well as our value with the dollar sign in front of it. The only difference is sometimes we would put a zero in front of the decimal point for that. Uh, number 14, write the total money amount. So I have one quarter, which is worth 25 cents. I have six dimes that are worth a total of 0.6 or 0 0.60. And then eight pennies, which equal 0 0.08. So if I were to add starting these two, I would get 0.85. Add my 8 to that, that should give me 0.93. If it's a fraction, it would be 93 over 100. And I'm losing the ability to drop that in there. There we go. And then as a dollar amount, 0 0.93. So that covers um, what I wanted to work with you on for the lesson today. If you have any questions, feel free to post in Google Classroom with your question or comment. Um, again, I'm still working with the technology part with the whiteboard, so if it looks a little bit sloppy or you're having difficulty reading it, let me know. I'll try to see what I can do um, to make it a little bit clearer for you. I liked the other app a little bit better because I had the ability to just kind of type and and do some other things and I think I'll get better at this other one um, if I need to um, as far as trying to figure out how to make um, transitions a little bit easier and so forth so it's uh, easier to follow um, so if you have any questions or feedback for that um, again just send me a private message in uh, Google Classroom or you can just post a question uh, in the assignment for the lesson so have a good day and I will see you tomorrow